Who? Terry's who. Terry can sh shut right up. The irrational anger at Terry is starting to set in. Starting to? Also, the anger is not irrational. It's perfectly rational. Do you know how many hoes I've given Terry? All the wasted blood, sweat, and tears I've spent at the forge for him not to give me a single heart pendant. Mary Beatrice, she's cute, but she also gives me junk. So, I don't know. I've thought about marrying Lucy. Specifically because I want to go to the hospital for free. I don't think that's a thing. But I'm going to choose to believe it is. Now, I don't know who I'm going to marry in this game. Honestly. I don't... I don't think it'll be Fuka, though. I think I've rolled Fuka out. Although there could be some developments, I don't know. I typically, uh... I typically try not to decide until I've had a lot of conversation and events with people. Cinderay characters aren't my thing. I completely understand. Except, I think I married Dolce first in the last game. Ryan is a good himbo. <laughs> Terry! Ugh. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. It's your fault, Terry. It's not... It's not because I have a cold. Do talisman counts as, Should I count talismans as pendants? I don't think so, but maybe we should. I feel like I should start adding more zeros to the heart pendant so people really know that he has not given it to me. Terry basically keeps telling you y'all need some Jesus. God can't help you for what I'm gonna do to you, Terry, if you don't give me the freaking heart pendant! It's very rare. It doesn't seem to be that rare. <laughs> you know what else is rare? The rosary. You know what he keeps giving me? The rosary. We gotta figure something out here. Clearly, this isn't working. We have to do something. Something needs to be done. A ritual of some sort, if you will. To make him give us the heart pendant. I think the last time we tried to spam hearts in the chat to make him give us a heart pendant, and it didn't work. Actually, I think he gave us, like, nothing but junk while we did that. So this time, what should we spam this time? Diamonds? Can we spam diamonds in the chat? I don't even know if that is a thing. Maybe spam your favorite emote. I'm sorry, I, I just... I'm reading this message in the chat. And it's making me very angry. Oh, you're right. I forgot to add the... 32. <clears throat> don't mind me. Uh... Alright, I'll get that off the screen. I feel like I'll anger Terry. Oh, God. oh no, what is happening? Oh, stop! 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 The bot. <laughs> my, my stream lads went rogue there for a minute and started deleting everything. <laughs> the anger of Terry. I don't I don't know if Terry ever gets angry. It's like, uh, how, how do I put this? They get some sort of sick sense of satisfaction from seeing you suffer. <laughs> I, I feel like that's Terry. With me, specifically. You're gonna go with Martin now? Good choice, good choice. Let me know if he gives you an Aura Calcum or a Platinum. Actually, you know what? No. I have been trying to get silver for, from Martin when I haven't been trying to get a heart pendant from Terry, and he has been refusing hardcore. If he gives you silver before he, before Terry gives me a heart pendant, your name is going back on the screen. Alright everybody, when I get to the end of these hoes, put a diamond in the chat. This is an educational stream that teaches you the pains of crippling gambling addiction. I'm not addicted, I can quit at any time. Well, at least there's not a rosary in here. All right, this is it, right? Someone in the chat said attempt number 33. I need like, <laughs> I need like that gif of Mr. Krabs jingling a bell says, day 23, give it up for day 23, just every time I make an attempt. Also, my headcanon is the heart pendant is like a heart locket. And there's a picture of me inside of it. And the reason he's not giving me a heart pendant is because he knows. As soon as he gives that to me, I'll leave him forever and never talk to him again. And he would be correct. Okay. This time around, I want everybody to put their favorite emote in the chat. I need some good luck here. A rolling raccoon? That is an awesome emote. The very last piece of tool that I give, I'm going to throw at him. And then I am going to put my favorite emotes into the chat. And maybe then... He will give it to me. It didn't look like I threw it, but you know what? Whatever. You know what? I, for whatever reason, this email makes me laugh. Pep AD. How did I, how did I click that behind me? Or whatever. 
Anyway. Wow. I made him mad. I guess he did not like me throwing that at him. Attempt 33 was not the one, chat. My abilities fail me. You know what? You tried. And that's all we can ask for. In these trying times, all you need to do is have faith in something. I've lost all my faith, so I need you all to believe in me for me. You know, all this farming is like, uh... It dredged up a memory that I had long forgotten about. Have any of you, by chance, heard of a plant called a money plant? Or a money tree? It is a, uh... It's an odd-looking, I think, flower that has leaves that are coin-shaped and they're kind of transparent. My, uh... My grandparents actually had an island. Not, a, not an island. Oh, Jesus, we're not rich. They had a little house on an island. And uh, on that island was an abundance of money, money plants. So when me and my siblings were young, we tried to... Uh, <laughs> we tried to uh, make a money plants of our own. And how do you think we, we tried accomplishing this? If your guess was by burying quarters in the, in the dirt, you would be correct. Oh, that, that was so funny. Just buried a bag of quarters in the backyard. We're like, we'll get a money plant in no time. We'll just be rich. You're laughing now, but wait until you return to the tree island and you see the dollars coming out of those babies. Well, see, we buried quarters. And uh, because of inflation, I think those quarters are actually worth, <laughs> are actually worth less than they were when we buried them. So we actually lost money by burying those quarters. Back in my day, you could buy milk, bread, and sugar for a quarter. Uh, you know what's sad is all this is extremely valuable, but I'm just refusing to save it. At least we get to update a different number. Attempt 35. Give it up for attempt 35. We are now an hour into Terry attempts. Spirits are... Well, spirits are... They're not high. I'm not going to lie to all of you. Spirits are quite low. Depression is setting in. And the only cure is the heart pendant. Well, Savvy, I appreciate you trying to help the stream in your own way. But sadly, Terry does not give a crap about your feelings. Nor mine, for that matter. Threaten him with a glass of fruit juice. Well, if I had the means to make it, I probably would. But I don't. Keep going, Johnny. You can do it. You know what? I believe in you that believes in me. I don't believe in myself, but it's nice to have some optimism in the chat. Give him a disastrous dish. I could give him a failed dish. I don't know if I've even gotten a disastrous dish yet. Also, I need to check something as soon as I give him all these hoes. But wait, hold on, hold on. If you don't believe in yourself, then believe in the shark who believes in Shibotaku who believes in you. So you don't believe in me, you're just believing in Shippotaku. <laughs> We're putting this all on you. You heard him, Shippotaku. If this fails, you're enemy number two of the stream. Raiden was enemy number one, but they've been forgiven. Forgiveness is quick here. Anger is also quick. You've all been warned. I want to be mad at you. I want to. But... This is the first time I have seen that accessory. I have not seen the silent ring before. So you will not be enemy of the stream today. But if it happens again... No mercy. It means you're getting closer? Yeah, sure. Sure. You know, the number besides happy rings is it's making me sad. Terry, you think you can at least give me one of those if you aren't going to give me a heart pendant? You know, I've ha I have a friend who's in the military that keeps telling me the way to remember directions, but I can never... <laughs> I can never remember my east or my west. Never eat squishy worms. I mean, that is an interesting one. Uh, the way they told it to me was never eat soggy waffles. But I'm going to tell you all a secret chat. If the waffles are soggy because of the syrup they're in, I am perfectly okay with it. We used to, uh, there's this type of jelly, it's like blackberry, and it tastes really good. So what we would do was uh, we would take a couple of scoops of it, 
and uh, put it in a glass measuring cup. Put it in the microwave, melt it down, and then pour that on our waffles. And it is still, by far, the most delicious way to eat waffles that I know. Oh, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. This is... <laughs> Why? Why am I ending up with 10 rosaries before I get to this? I'm so sad. I have yet to see a rosary if that helps. Can we trade? I'll gladly give you all my rosaries if I could see just one heart pendant. I mean, I don't know if that makes me feel better getting all these rosaries, but it certainly makes me feel something. Contempt, maybe? Anger, more likely? Are we talking about cereal in the chat? Alright, what's everybody's favorite cereal in the chat? My favorite cereal is... It's a tragedy. Because I can't really eat it. <laughs> you lactose intolerant? You could eat your cereal with water, which is... I'll look at you differently if you do, but you could. My favorite cereal is called Blueberry Morning. It's like uh, oats and corn flakes with blueberry fruit chopped up and put into it. The problem is... Uh, Blueberries, for whatever reason, give me extremely bad heartburn. So as much as I love them, I cannot eat it. I haven't eaten cereal in years. I was that way for a while, but uh, more recently I've been trying to change my diet for the better. I've been trying to structure my meals because I used to... Uh, what, what is that diet called? It's a diet where you only eat one or two meals a day. And it's like not two big meals if you do two. It's one tiny one and a large one at the end. Oh, intermediate food diet. That's right. I used to do that. Well, it wasn't by choice, largely. I, uh, whenever I was first starting college, I would, uh, I'd have to wake up at 6 a.m., which is probably normal for most people, but I'd wake up at 6 a.m., get ready to go to college and be in class by 7, and I would not get home until... 11 p.m. at night. Intermittent. <laughs> Look, it's been a long time, okay? Okay. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't really have the option to uh, eat whenever I wanted. I had to do whenever I was home. And because of that, I don't really... I don't have normally structured foods. I'm used to, like, eating a huge portion of it, like, at the end of the day. So it's been kind of difficult eating healthier because I need to structure out, like, three meals a day, and they have to be, like, portioned. Like, I'm not used to eating those kind of portions, so after I'm eating, done eating the meal, I'm hungry still. So it's been very interesting. But man, I do not miss those early days of college. Oh, God. Seven hours of sleep was terrible. Like, it would be fine if, uh, it would be fine if it was just classes that I was taking, but I was working uh, two part-time jobs and doing industrial classes, so I was... I, I needed all the sleep I can get, but I couldn't get a full night's sleep. So it was more like I was sleeping five to six hours a day. Meal prep? Uh, I I do prep my meals. It's, it's more of an issue of portion control, you know? Like, uh, one of the things I like to make is... Uh, Chicken fried rice, cut up a lot of vegetables, make the rice earlier in the day. But uh, I make a huge portion of it, like enough for a couple of lunches throughout the days. But seeing all of that food there, it's hard for me to just not eat a large amount of it until I'm satisfied. You know, it kind of defeats the point of uh, structuring your meals if you just eat until you're full. All right, Terry. Come on, buddy. Terry! Terry! No! Okay, hold on. First of all, we're in double-digit rosaries now. Second, let me look up how high levels... Alright. What level is this? What level is this item? Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, oh. Oh, just... Just a, a level 73 crafting item. <laughs> just a casual difficulty 73 item. He just plopped in my lap. This is the highest one yet. Very cool of you, Terry. I would save it, but I also hate you. 
Actually, you know what? Fine. We're gonna save it. I don't really need it, but it's kind of cool. I'll add it to the trophy room of shame. I just got here. How'd you get a hero's proof from halfway through the second arc, by the way? Well, if you would like to see how this happens, stick around. Step one. You cry, realizing you'll never really get what you want. Step two. You go to the forge, and you buy a bunch of iron, or bronze, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Step three. Buy 50 ores for, uh, for 10 accessory poles from Terry. Once you have forged either shields or hoes, you run to Terry. Good old Terry Cruz, the detective down there. And you just keep giving him items. And after giving him five items, he will give you an accessory. You got a silver pendant. Terry hasn't given me one of those yet. You know, ironically, if Terry gave me a silver pendant, I would probably go to uh, Heinz and see if I could get a heart for crystal from him. I think he can give you those. Chat! <gasps> it happened! I'm free! I'm free! Ah, uh, to put a big old big old wand right next to that. Woo! But man, everything else he gave me is junk. I'm not gonna make any money selling this stuff. Well, Terry, you live another day. And now we will never speak to each other again. Unless for some reason I need another, another one.